going on, family? It's your boy, Travis. You heard you heard it first, and you heard it right. Temptation. James 1.13. And remember, when you are being tempted, do not say, God is tempting me. God is never tempted to do wrong. Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions. And when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. It is our own desires that tempt us. I know a lot of times it's easier for us to blame everything outside of ourselves. It takes a certain type of muscle to admit that you're wrong. We're all guilty of it. We're all wrong. You can't always be right. Our desires are our temptations. Think about it. Some people will say, well, my friends just showed up with some drinks, showed up with some drugs, showed up with it. It must be a sign. This must be God trying to tempt me. Come on. You are tempted because you have the desire to do these things. Think about it. If you didn't have the desire to do these things, they wouldn't be a temptation. I wrote down a quote after really looking at that verse for a while because it made me think. So I wrote down, I realize my desires control my temptations. So change your desires. Change the things that you desire to do. And you won't be tempted by the bad things that you don't want to do. But the fact is we're so tied to the lust of our flesh. Our flesh wants these things that in return hurt our spirit. And we think the temptation is outside of ourselves when in fact that temptation is inside of you. If you don't have the desire to do the things you don't want to do, they will not tempt you anymore. Renew your mind. Change the way that you think. It's the only way. If you keep thinking wrong, you do wrong. Think right, do right. Your mind is the control center of your life. It's where all the operations start and end. Change your mind. In result, will change your desires. Don't think that it's outside of yourself. It's within. It's not easy to accept that. It's a constant daily progression. It's not like you can renew your mind in one day, in one afternoon, in one morning. It's your whole life. Your whole life consists of that consistency to renew your mind and to change what you think about. What are you looking at? What are you taking in? See, these things affect you. Don't be fooled. All these distractions that we have that distract us from getting to our higher self, to our best self. Listen, they don't want you to stop doing drugs. They don't want you to stop using all these forms of social media and networking tools to distract you. Of course, social media and all these networking tools are great, but what are you using them for? Are you comparing yourself constantly? Are you constantly putting yourself down because of what you see out there? You don't think you're good enough? That's crazy talk. You are uniquely made uniquely made. 
uniquely made. There's nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. The desires are shaped within. Change how you think. It is so powerful. Listen, I'm learning this late in life. I'm 30 years old. I'll be 31 in April. My whole life, I've been a thinker. I'm an observer. I'm a thinker. I'm a deep thinker too. I think deep about everything because I don't believe in coincidences. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. You just got to know how to analyze it. So when I first discovered this verse of temptation, it was a while ago. I was a kid. I was probably 15 years old. I've known this lesson for over 15 years. But as of this year, I said, man, this really makes sense. These temptations are not external. They're internal. I change my temptations. I choose what I want to be tempted by. My desires are shaped by my thoughts. The things that I think about will result in what I am tempted by. So if you don't like what you're being tempted by, change your desires. Your mind is the control center for your life. Take time every day to renew your mind. Now, for all my Christian people out there who are on their quest to be the best selves and discover God's purpose for your life, prayer is so important. But I know all of us are guilty of this type of praying, this babbling, talking, repetitive just way to talk to God like almost like he doesn't already know. So you have to keep telling him. I wrote this down too. Real prayer is saying to God what he already said in his word. Approaching God from a place of victory to victory. You see, it's already done. It's already handled. You already won the battle because Jesus won the battle. He won 2,000 years ago. You don't have to keep fighting. Approach God with reassurance that you know his word. Approach God from a place of victory because the battle is already won. That will change your mind because when your mind is corrupted with all your temptations, you're not seeing clearly. You don't see the victory. You're fighting a battle that's already won. Change your desires. That will eliminate your temptations. Renew your mind daily with the word of God. Renew your mind daily with the word of God. Change your desires. Eliminate those old temptations. That's what I got for you today. You heard it first. And you heard it right. Love you guys. Peace.